I'm Minnie Davila. I have manned a booth at the CTR Spring Festival for 34 years. I started out with face painting and then I took over the craft booth. And then gradually we introduced confetti eggs into the craft booth, but they got too big. So needless to say, the following year, confetti eggs got their own booth. And then later, marshmallow guns were introduced and both of them are still going strong. Anyway, today I am going to show you how to make your own confetti eggs at home from upcycled items that you normally find around your house. I'm sure you have eggs in your refrigerator, um, grocery ads like from Kroger HEB, a pair of scissors, gift tissue paper, and what I did is I took a vitamin bottle and I traced the lid and I folded it over several times. So you can cut a bunch at one time instead of one at a time. So I'm going to do that. There you go. You will also need school glue. And then to decorate your eggs, whatever you can find around your house, raid your mom's craft supply items, uh, watercolors, markers, stickers. Okay, so the first thing is to empty the egg, and the easiest way I find to do that is on the corner of my kitchen faucet base. But I'm going to make do with this just to show you. So you take the corner, and then you know how you have a narrow, and then you have the wider bottom? The bottom is where we go, and that gives you more area to, makes it easier to cover with the uh, tissue paper lid later. So what I do is I just tap it in the corner. And then just pick away with your thumb until you get the hole the size of oh, between a nickel and a quarter. Okay? And if you can, try to get the uh, points off, especially if you want to make a over easy egg and don't want the yolk broken. Oh, it's got the skin in there. You see, it didn't break. And then what you do is you run this under hot water and invert it to dry. Okay, now confetti, like I said, just make it out of things you find at home. So what I did is I folded the add over several times and then just cut through with the scissors and then go across. You see, that's pretty colorful. Okay, we have that ready. So, I keep this by my kitchen sink and it makes it so much easier because like I said, I, I crack them on the faucet base corner. I get the yolk out with white and then I rinse it out and I keep this and I collect them year round. Okay, so what we're going to do is we take one that's completely dry because if it's wet, the confetti is going to get wet and, and uh, clog up there. So we do that. And then you're going to take your glue. And run a ring around the eggshell and try not to get it too heavy because it'll drip and might stick to the egg carton while you have it in there drying. And then you just take one of these tissue lids, place it over. I like to get two sides and then the other two sides and then just smooth it. Sometimes I like to just rub it around on my palm. And there you go. So you let that dry. And then like I said, you can use watercolor. That's what I did on this one. With watercolor though, you have to be careful not to get too much water because it will just drip. And then um, these are all watercolor. These I use stickers. This is watercolor and stickers. You can write your own messages. Or just take the markers and just do whatever design you want to do. It's that simple. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed my video and it inspires you to create memories with your families at home, especially right now that we're all cooked up. I would love to see your creations. Feel free to post them on Facebook with the hashtag WeAreCTR. Um, stay home, be safe, God bless, and have an excellent day.